You know, uh, a couple of weeks ago, our industry lost a, uh, a great pioneer, uh, a real legend in Al Yulchi. Uh, Al Yulchi traces his aviation career back to the early days of aviation. When he was 16, he got his pilot's license and he began barnstorming. And through his flying career, he did things like fly with Charles Lindbergh and was the personal pilot for one trip from Pan American Airlines. Al Yulchi was the founder of Flight Safety International. He was an aviation legend. But one day in the late 1970s, he was having lunch and he learned about preventable blindness in the world. And Al Yulchi decided to get involved in trying to combat preventable blindness, to try to bring sight to people who could have sight all over the world. And as you would expect, Al looked at this through an aviation prism. He was talking with an ophthalmologist, and ultimately it became an organization called Orbis. And it became Al Yulchi's real passion was to promote and develop the use of a flying eye hospital to combat preventable blindness in the United States and around the world. Now, a few good years ago at NBAA, seven years ago in fact, we decided that there was something fundamental there that ought to be celebrated, that ought to be recognized, and that ought to be promoted. And that was the idea that you can use airplanes for humanitarian purposes. So seven years ago, NBAA created an Al Yulchi Humanitarian Award to recognize the use of airplanes for humanitarian purposes. We've given the Al Yulchi Humanitarian Award to Cessna for their Special Olympics airlift. We've given it to the Veterans Airlift Command for reuniting combat veterans and troops with their families. We've given it to the Corporate Angel Network for going out and taking cancer patients to treatment. We gave it to the entire community for the effort all the volunteers put in to respond to the earthquake in Haiti. And last year we had the opportunity to give it to Senator Bill Frist, who despite his time as the Senate Majority Leader would take recesses and fly all over the world performing heart and lung operations. We wanted to recognize organizations, companies, and individuals who found ways to use airplanes to make the world a better place. Several months ago, when we were thinking about this year's humanitarian award, we thought, you know, Al Yulchi loved Orbis. He was committed to that mission. And there may be one organization that is every bit as committed to Orbis as Al Yulchi is, and that is FedEx led by their legendary founder, Fred Smith. Because if you look at the history of Orbis, there's really no company that has been more integral to the success of Orbis than FedEx. They've provided airplanes, they've provided pilots, they've provided maintenance technicians. So we decided that it would be fitting this year to recognize FedEx and Fred Smith with the Al Yulchi Humanitarian Award. Of course, when we made that decision, Al was still with us. And a few weeks ago, he passed away. So it's particularly fitting that as we present this year's Al Yulchi Humanitarian Award, it go right back to where Al Yulchi began his humanitarian effort, back to that fight against preventable blindness. We'd like now to play a video that reflects the Orbis initiative, the FedEx commitment to it, and our great friend and leader, Al Yulchi. Fred Smith's vision started an industry that was an overnight success. Hello, Federal. Federal Express. When it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight. And business aviation was there from the beginning. Business aviation has been an integral part of FedEx's success since the day we were founded. And I think uh, the military uh, calls it a force multiplier. And that's what uh, our uh, business aviation aircraft have been for FedEx. They've given us the capability to fight above our weight. And with the enormous global network we have in place today, it allows us to move around the world with our Q 
key executives in a much more efficient and productive fashion than would have been the case had we not operated business aircraft. The NBAA is um, the institution that makes sure that the voice of business aircraft operators is effectively heard and represents the, the interest of, of business aviation. Our chairman, ex-Marine, of course, likes to uh, likes to think in marine terms from time to time and, and he's told me often that that corporate fleet is there to allow us to shoot, move and communicate. Well the first time I ever saw Al Yulchi, uh, he was one trip's uh, corporate pilot and then we became uh, associated again in the early 70s when we were buying the Falcon DA-20s to convert into uh, small express freighters that were the original aircraft of, of FedEx. So uh, Al and I go back uh, 40 years uh, on a personal basis and I first saw him over half a century ago. Well Orbis is one of the great charities of the world and Orbis's mission is to uh, restore sight uh, particularly to uh, people around the world who don't have access to the modern technologies that we take for granted in the industrialized world uh, and it does so by taking volunteer physicians and nurses and associates in a specially equipped flying hospital to the remotest parts of the world in order to uh, perform operations that restore people's sight and perhaps even more importantly teach local doctors how to do the same on an ongoing basis. Our pilots volunteer their time uh, to fly these missions. If you've ever flown with Orbis and seen the wonderful work that they do, you would automatically want to be part of this operation. There are 39 million people in this world that are blind today. It's a remarkable, remarkable thing for me to consider that FedEx has partnered with Orbis to literally save the vision of hundreds of thousands of people. Any way and every way we can help. Uh, we want to be part of this this uh, this mission. I went to 22 different countries. We would see patients that would see their children for the first time, grandparents that would see their grandchildren for the first time. We've taken that one step further and have now donated an MD-10 to Orbis that's going to become the next generation Flying Eye Hospital. Without FedEx, without Fred Smith, without the uh, uh, entire FedEx family, we wouldn't have this airplane. And if we don't have this airplane, then we don't have Orbis. Those of us in aviation can take a great deal of pride uh, in what uh, this uh, just fantastic gift that uh, Al Yulchi started so many years ago continues to give to so many people around the world. So uh, it, it, it's been one of the great pleasures in my professional life to see FedEx be able to support Orbis to the extent we've been able to do so. Congratulations, Fred Smith and FedEx Express on being the recipients of the 2012 NBAA Al Yulchi Humanitarian Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Accepting the award on behalf of FedEx and Fred Smith is the Executive Vice President of FedEx, Jim Parker. Jim, please come forward, accept the award. Thanks very much. I think we might want to take a uh, picture here in front of the award. Thank you very much, Ed, for those kind introduction. And good morning to you all. It's great to be here in Orlando at the NBAA convention. Uh, let, let me restate that. I'm from Tennessee. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> I'd like to start by complimenting the NBAA, all of you, for the work, terrific work you do in being the voice for the aviation business community. Your voice is strong. Your voice is heard. And I want to congratulate, congratulate you all. Today is bittersweet. The FedEx family, like all of you, learned just days ago of Al Olchi's death. The news spread quickly, and we were all saddened by it. 
On behalf of FedEx, our prayers and condolences go out to the Ulchi family and friends for the loss of their loved one. He was a remarkable, compassionate man, and he will be missed. I want to talk about compassion for just a moment. What exactly is compassion? We all know it and feel it, and I can't really explain it properly, so I pulled a, a definition from Wikipedia that helps put it in perspective. Compassion is the virtue of empathy for the suffering of others. It's regarded as a fundamental part of human love and a cornerstone of greater social interconnections and humanism, foundational to the highest principles in philosophy, society, and personhood. Well, that's powerful stuff. So what does compassion have to do with FedEx Express, Fred Smith, and our lost friend, Al Olchi? I hope you could feel through Mr. Smith's remarks how compassionate he is about Orbis and the many good things FedEx does to support this wonderful organization. Each year, FedEx unselfishly volunteers its services and world reach for any number of unique humanitarian causes, particularly during times of natural disasters when the need is the most urgent. And in many instances, it saves lives or makes lives better. But it doesn't take a natural catastrophic event to know that there's a critical need somewhere in the world for people needing help. That's when compassion is demonstrated at another level, especially at Orbis. What FedEx does to help Orbis, we pull together teams of people across regions to ensure that an aircraft is properly maintained and that medical supplies reach Orbis facilities all over the world. It's all about compassion, but it doesn't happen by itself. Despite all the staffing resources and hardware at our disposal, it takes a human act of caring and generosity and that's where our FedEx chairman, Fred Smith, comes in. It's from our chairman's steady guidance, leadership, and inspiring spirit, his attention to the human side of business, life within and outside the walls of the company he founded, that our work also includes doing what's right in communities, even if that community is halfway across the world. Fred Smith describes the Orbis relationship much more eloquently than I ever could, and he expressed as much when he asked if I could accept the Al Ulchi Award in his behalf. It is honestly a great pleasure I have to do that, to be here for Mr. Smith, but equally representing every FedEx team member around the globe. Our chairman was unable to be here today because of a previously scheduled commitment, but this does not lessen the pride he feels in being named the award recipient pride in a very humble way that is shared among all FedEx people. As Mr. Smith said in his message to you, Orbis is one of the great charities of the world. When you combine one of our chairman's passions, aviation, with his compassion for helping especially Orbis, it's a perfect fit, and this relationship has spanned 30 years. Making today's presentation all the more rewarding and heartfelt is Fred Smith and Al Lutri had a long and personal history. So there was a special connection for both of them in the broader aviation industry with Orbis. Compassion linked them both. I also had the privilege of knowing Mr. Yulchi through my work with the Orbis Board of Directors. He is a wonderful, good man, plain and simple. We at FedEx admire the great contribution he made to aviation and Orbis during his many years of service. Fred Smith has made Orbis an important FedEx mission for three decades. That mission continues to this day with the same level of compassion as it did in the early days. FedEx support of the nonprofit is wide ranging. It includes a strong financial commitment, the donation of a uh, FedEx Express MD-10 aircraft, uh, that, which will become the new state-of-the-art flying eye hospital. We, we provide aircraft maintenance, volunteer pilots, uh, and volunteer hours by our team members, and much, much more. So on behalf of the 150,000 plus FedEx Express team members worldwide and more than 300,000 team members across all FedEx Corporation entities, I can't say enough about what a privilege and honor it is to be, for me to accept this award. I accept it for the pioneer and innovator of the overnight express delivery industry, one of the proudest proponents of Orbis work, and everyone's boss at FedEx, Frederick W. Smith. And I accept it in special memory for Al Ulchi. Thank you for this honor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that largely concludes the opening general session, save for one very important part. We would now like to ask those 
members of the master pilot class of 2010 that shared the stage that day with Neil Armstrong to join us for the ceremonial ribbon cutting that will be led by Senator Jerry Moran. Aviation legends, please come and join us on stage. I think your names are up there in the order in which you're standing. Thanks, Clay. Thanks, Gino. You're great up there. I'm telling you. Thank you. You're immaculate. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in memory of Neil Armstrong, and in order to open the 65th annual NBAA meeting and convention, please cut the ribbon. Have a great convention.